While the Federal Reserve caps the short-term interest rate low here in Brazil, the rate is about 14.5% this year, according to the market expectations. I'm Luciene Miranda, and this is São Paulo Direct by Ducascop TV. And I'll talk now to the chief economist at Gradual Investimentos, André Perfeito. Is this the best scenario for carry trade? Yes, somehow. <laughs> What we see right now in the United States, they are trying to make more efforts to boost the economy. So the president, the chairman of Federal Reserve, just said that uh, they're going to keep the interest rate lower till they find new evidence that the economic activity is getting better there. But here in Brazil, we have a different scenario. The infl inflation expectations for 2016 next year and for 2017 uh, is not well anchored yet. So the central bank is trying the best uh, to control the inflation expectation. That's why it's very likely that they're going to climb the slick rate to 14.5% by the end of this year to control the inflation expectation. Because we have two main um, shocks in Brazilian inflation right now. We had in the beginning of the year the administrative prices, the price of gas, the price of electricity, the price of another administrative prices. They climbed very fast in the beginning of 2015 the beginning of Dilma Rousseff administration. And also we had a very strong devaluation of real. Real lost value against US dollar almost 40% since last September. So all that together make the inflation a very problematic one in Brazil right now. That's why the central bank is doing the, its best, so, but, but it is very, very, very difficult situation that it needs to climb furthermore the slick rate in 2016. What about the trend for the dollar price here in Brazil? What we see that the difference between the U.S. Do the treasuries and the Brazilian bonds is so high right now because in the United States the, um, the interest rate is near zero and here Brazil is 14 percent. So okay, Brazil is a bad is economy that's not performing so well. It's not don't have good forecast for Brazilian economy. But the yield difference, the carry trade operations are very very good right now. So. Uh, it's, very, it's very easy to think that the Brazilian uh, real can get stronger against US dollar because we have higher rates here, so the money flow to Brazilian economy. But be, be careful, because the Brazilian central bank already said that it's not the, in his goals to keep the real stronger. He wants the real weaker against US dollar to control some distortion that happened, because real got very strong in the recent past. So For example, eating in Sao Paulo is as expensive as eating in New York. It doesn't make sense. That's why they want to keep the real weaker. And also they want to, to make that with the BRL because we, they want to, to the Brazilian economy to export more. We need to export to control our trade, trade deaths that we have right now in 2015. That's very, a very big one right now. What can happen to the stock market? Well, in Brazil, we are facing right now a, a stock market that is not performing well because the economic activity is not well. The company's results, the profits of the companies listed are not that good in 2015 as it was in 2014. We are facing right now in Brazil a very um, um, adjustment in economy, but it's a recessive one. They are going to control the, the labor market. They want to control the labor market very strongly. And, um, and the unemployment rate is climbing, so there, are not, there is not enough demand for the Brazilian companies. That's why the stock market is not performing so well in 2015. And what can happen to our short-term interest rate? Well, in the short term, we're going to see a further rise in June. In, uh, in July, they're going to increase more 50 base points, and in September, more 25 base points, in my opinion. So it's going to be a very tough uh, decision for our, our central bank and for sure for our economy. And, but we can do that very fast. I believe that the central bank is going to hike the CELIC rate to 14.5%, but next year, it's very likely that they're going to cut very fast the CELIC rate. So the forecast from the, uh, the, the median forecast for the, from the economies For the next year, it's about 11.5%. So if you want to bring money to Brazil, bring now because the interest rate is higher right now. Next year, it's going to, the central bank's, bank's going to get a little bit more in the slick rate. André Perfeito, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you. Luciene Miranda to São Paulo Direct by Ducascop TV.